Hi, and welcome to our demo on Triton Model Analyzer. Today, we'll be looking at how to use Model Analyzer to optimize a Triton deployed model for peak performance. When you deploy a model on Triton Inference Server, you have a couple of decisions you can make to optimize performance. That includes things like how many instances of the model should be run on the same device, how many incoming requests should be dynamically batched together, what format the model should be served in, and at what precision the outputs should be computed in. It can be a time-consuming process to tune each of these settings, especially when considering how changing one setting can affect the performance of another. Triton Model Analyzer is a command line tool that can sweep through all of the possible configurations of a model in order to find the best combination of settings to suit your particular needs. I'm going to start off with the functioning deployment of Triton with a model that's already been configured with some default settings. In this case, we'll be serving a burnt model with Triton's PyTorch backend. But of course, Model Analyzer works with any of the Triton backends. In particular, I'll be running the pre-trained Hugging Face BERT large uncased model on a V100 GPU. So let's start off by taking a look at the model repository that we have. And so you can see here we have this BERT large folder, and inside it we have our model script, which has uh, already been converted into Torch script. I also want to take a look at the existing model configuration we have here in the config.pb text file. Okay, and here we see that we have a fairly simple uh, and straightforward uh, model configuration file already pre-configured. We have all of our input and output tensors, as well as a set max batch size of 64. So this is going to tell Triton that we want to have at most 64 inputs batched together um, when executing on our model. But of course, that might not be the most optimal configuration. For example, maybe it would be better to have a smaller batch size or a larger batch size. And we also don't have anything here about the number of models that are on any particular device. So that will mean that Triton will default to placing one model instance on each GPU. It's fairly simple to go through and change some of these configuration settings. We just need to modify this config.pb text file and then reload our model into the Triton server. But to check every combination of settings and logged latency and throughput metrics would be pretty tedious. So here we're going to utilize Model Analyzer to automatically sweep through all of those configurations. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is download and install Model Analyzer. There's a few different methods for doing this that you can check out in the Model Analyzer documentation, but today we're going to be cloning the Model Analyzer repository and building the Docker container from there. So what I'm going to want to execute is git clone. And in particular, I'm going to be uh, cloning the branch r22.04, which you can also do if you want to replicate these uh, steps exactly, just to make things a little bit more reproducible. And let me also copy in the actual um, URL for the repository. OK, and now we've downloaded uh, our model analyzer repository. I'm going to go into the, um, the directory. And I'm going to execute my docker build command. So what this is going to do is it's going to actually pull in the um, Triton uh, container for the uh, corresponding release, which in this case is 22.04, and then it's going to download all of the model analyzer components on top of that. And we'll see a little bit later on why it's useful to have everything um, bundled together in the same container, meaning Triton and model analyzer um, both bundled together. This part might take a couple minutes, so I'm going to pause here and come back once this is finished installing. OK, so with this Docker image finally built, we can go ahead and launch the container that we'll be using for running Model Analyzer. And in particular, I'm going to be running this container in interactive mode with access to all of my GPUs. I'm also going to mount my current directory to the workspace folder inside the container and give it access to my host network.
Now that we're inside the container, I'm going to create a configuration file for the model analyzer sweep. This will tell model analyzer what settings to sweep through, what models to check, and where to send the outputs. So I'm going to create a very simple sweep file. And this file is going to tell the model analyzer to read my model repository from the folder that we created earlier. And it's going to tell model analyzer to profile our BERT large model. And we're also going to set the perf analyzer flag. input data zero. And this is necessary for this particular BERT model. Uh, generally, Perf Analyzer, which is the tool that underlies Model Analyzer, will send random values to the model in order to profile its performance. For BERT models, this can cause indexing issues, so we want to send tensors full of zeros to test out the speed of the results. Now, all we need to do is run the Model Analyzer profile command and point it at our YAML file. And so now here, because the only thing that we specified was the model to check, uh, Model Analyzer is going to sweep through the default values that it has for both the number of instances that we have on each device and the maximum number of um, inputs that will be put into a single batch. And so in this case, it's going to sweep uh, between one and five model instances per GPU. And it's going to go by powers of two for the number of inputs per batch between one and I think 1,024. Um, and it will take a couple of minutes to run through all of these examples. Um, so we will come back once this process is done. And so here's what it looks like once the run is completed. We can see that it ran through 13 different configurations, uh, modifying things such as the batch size and the number of uh, models on each GPU. So in this case, we have four. And once we got up to five, we had some model failures, some resources exhausted, which means that we probably sort of maxed out on our GPU memory. We also see here at the bottom this command here, model analyzer analyze, which will give us a little bit more detail about some of the output of these various different configuration runs. So let's go ahead and run that command. And so this has generated a couple of different uh, reports and some um, images that display some of the different metrics that were produced over the course of our model analyzer suite. Let's take a closer look at some of those. And so here's how the output of our model analysis tool looks. We can see here a graph of throughput versus latency for the three best configurations. And in this case, best means the highest throughput of the models that, uh, or of the configurations that our model analyzer tested. And up here at the top, we can see that the best performing model configuration was BERT large config two with one model instance per GPU, a max batch size of four and dynamic batching enabled. And so in this case, the way that the best model is defined is the one with the highest throughput uh, constrained by whatever latency limit we put. And of course, for this model uh, analysis, we didn't put any constraints on the latency. So it's telling us um, what model had the highest throughput. But as we can see, the latency on this model is, is really quite high. A lot of the times what we'll actually want is to have a model configuration that has the maximum throughput given a certain constraint on latency. Uh, perhaps 50 milliseconds or something along those lines. In this case, with 300 milliseconds of latency, that might not be appropriate for our application. So let's say, for example, that we still want to maximize our throughput, but now we have a hard limit of, for example, 50 milliseconds of latency for our response in order to meet whatever uh, service level agreements that we have. One of the nice things about model analyzer is that we don't have to run through the entire sweep of the uh, parameters again, we just have to rerun the final analysis that generated those reports that we just saw. 
So in this case, we can create a new um, analysis uh, configuration file. We'll call that analyze.yaml. And similar to before, we can specify what models we want to analyze. In this case, we're still going to look at for large. And here now we can specify the constraints that we need the models to meet. So in this case, we have a perf latency. And let's say we have P99. And our max value for that is 50. So let's close that out. And now we can rerun our model analyzer analyze uh, command with this new config file. And this will run through and you can see it's using those same checkpoints as before, but now it's generated a new report for us to look at. So let's open that up and take a look at what we see. Okay, and so here's our new file, our new report, and we can see that we now have this constraint target, max P99 latency of 50 milliseconds. And now we actually have a new best model configuration, this time BERT large config seven we have two GP, two model instances per GPU with a max batch size of eight and dynamic batching still being enabled. So we can see here how we can use model analyzer to more flexibly meet whatever our specific uh, requirements are for our model's performance.